Tonight I'm gonna tie a purple daze, um, which is a fly we we modeled off of the purple haze, which is that dub body, basically a purple atoms. Uh, we did it like a purple Roberts Drake um, with some deer hair we dyed ourselves. And uh, because my dog ate um, my purple thread, I'm going to use mohair. So this will be a purple hairy daze. Uh, but it's it's a good look. I've actually used this um, before for my Robert Drakes. Uh, so I'll show you how I tie it. Um, so any hook, like standard length dry fly hook, size 10 through 16, it's really hard to tie this fly. The way I'm gonna tie it is smaller than a 16. Um, this is the same hook I used in my last video. It's a size 11, 102 Y because I need some Isonychia type stuff. The Purple Days is a great attractor uh, any time of the dry fly season. It's particularly good in June. And it can be just an attractor during the day, or you can fish it as a little bit of a, you know, at dark hatch master, um, hatch matcher. So, Hatchmaster is actually another good fly, different fly. So I got some moose that we actually hacked up today off of a full skin and I had to use a circular saw. So we have these patches for sale, it's really good stuff. This is one of the rejects, so they won't look that bad. Um, but when you tie the Robert Drake style, you want your tail to be quite long because it disappears in the flare of the deer hair. So Here's the fly that we're gonna tie. And you can see the deer hair flares in the back there and hides some of that tail. So we're gonna go um, longer than the hook shank, quite a bit longer, um, well past the bend, so maybe a hook and a half. And I measure it like I did, switch hands, soft wrap, soft wrap, pull up for tension, we'll wrap a bit. The big mistake people make with this fly is they don't get all the way to the bend of the hook. And so the fly comes out short. So you almost, you're almost so far down the bend of the hook that the, the tails, they, they, they almost want to go down. That'll get you the right space. So I'm going to link the moose on, wrap up and about a third. You need to leave a front portion uh, for your wing. <clears throat> so here's our purple day's hair. And it's so hard to measure this stuff. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And hopefully you can figure that out. But something like your scissors when they're shut, maybe. So take them off and clip it. We'll get some of the under fur off. You're going to be tying this facing back. So everything that you do with your hands, you want to... have the tips facing back. So when I open this, I got the tips back. When I pull it out, tips are back. I always have to do that, switch hands. Measure so that it's gonna flare past the bend of the hook. Switch hands again, and now we're measured. I'm gonna clip it up, and I'm gonna push it around the hook, and then soft wrap all the way around like a lasso. One, two, pull it. Wrap into the flare. And now we're gonna make nice, easy, even wraps to segment the body. And then two wraps at the bottom and pull and that'll flare. I'm gonna turn my vise around so I can make sure I didn't leave the hook shank exposed. And go back. You know, after I tied that one with the brown thread, I actually kind of liked it. Um, so there you go. So that's any Roberts Drake style fly, which is basically a parachute with a deer hair body, looks like this. The Roberts Drake has pheasant for the tail. Um, a lot of our isos in the purple days have moose for the tail. So now we'll take some of this white deer hair. This stuff's really good too. I, I know I'm kind of touting the stuff we have in the shop, but we have that in bulk. And we just cut that up yesterday and today. 
So it's, I mean, it's so good. You really don't have to stack it. You get a nice buggy look without stacking it. I'm going to measure it just shy of the end of the purple. Again, switch hands. And I'm going to clip. So I already got that. I know it's measured. I'm going to clip, but I'm not going to push this around the post. I'm just going to take two soft wraps and then tighten and go through the flared deer hair. There we go. All right. So now we're going to stand it up and we're going to soft wrap around and, and pull the post into position. So we want it obviously upright. That's looking pretty good now. A lot of these June bugs, when we when we tie the, the, the flies for June, your drakes, your isos, there's so many different mayflies out there that I do better with bushier flies in June. Whereas if, if I'm if I were tying this in a 14 for a Hendrickson, I'd want it to be super clean. Um, the fish for Hendrickson seem to like their stuff undersized, if anything. The fish during um, Drakes and Isos and, and Hex are pretty into the uh, oversized, or at least very, very buggy, which is sort of a catch-all phrase us tires use for when we are allowed to be a little less cautious with our tying. It's a, it's a, it's a good freedom to have to say, well, it's buggy. So I just, I got to measure some hackles real quick here. So it's good to have a hackle gauge on your, in your tying setup. If you're a dry fly person at all, it just, um, it'll keep, it'll keep you using the same unit of measure for all your flies. So it'll be more consistent. All right. So I like to tie my hackles at the same time. So I just trimmed it. My grizzly's a little short, but we'll make do. And I tie it in with the stems on the far side like that. And now I'm going to tie in some purple mohair. This is an MFC product. Not all mohair is the same. <clears throat> A lot of it is just too big for this, um, for this application. But it really does kind of produce a lot of strands and little legs and stuff and it also changes the way the fly lands it'll land softer with this mohair on there there's just more material striking the surface at the same time okay at this point we're almost done i'm going to just clean up a couple of the longer mohair strands and come in there and get that little piece of white there all right, so now we're gonna start towards the top of our post. Don't need many wraps when you tie them in at the same time. There we go, hold it by you and just go around the base of the post with your thread, nice and low. And then when you're done with your wraps around the base, always get yourself some wraps up at the head that holds and locks into place, and then I always pull on my deer hair a bit. A lot of people put glue there. You really don't need to if you got good hair. So I'm gonna clip. The hackles are facing me, they're together. I'm just, they're all secured, so I'm gonna clip them off. And before I whip finish, I'm just gonna take a poke around here and just a couple fibers I could live without. And I grab my, this. I got the mega whip finisher right now. So with finishing parachutes, I go to the side like this. You can half hitch it. You can whip finish with your hands if that's your thing. I've always been better using the tool. I think it's more precise. And that's the Harry Hayes days. It's a good fly. Fish really do like purple. And um, it's worth having either tied correctly with purple thread or with the mohair variant. It'll catch fish.